Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. The importance of rice in the Philippines diet. This is uh, a bizarre one for Westerners because it's not just a food, it's an obsession. Um, in the morning, you'll see people, the first thing they do is put a rice cooker on as if it's getting the morning coffee. It, it is that critical to the diet. Um, there's a belief that they will get PASMO. PASMO is something unique to the Philippines, as far as I'm aware, where it's basically like having some sort of seizure because they haven't had food for so many hours. Um, but they believe you can get PASMO for having no rice as well. Um, which isn't true because my wife rarely eats rice these days and I'm sure many other people's wives don't eat too much rice and a lot of um, Filipinos abroad just don't eat rice. Um, it's just an obsession. It's been sort of integrated into the system. Um, it's a belief. Now, I'm not saying people can't make themselves sick because um, if you have that level of obsession um, it's a bit like a placebo a reverse placebo effect where you believe you take medication to fix something and your willpower um, believes it so much that you could actually make yourself uh, better because it was all psychological in the first place so be aware of that um, you people you meet will have to have rice um, also people have this obsession with regular eating. Filipinos generally eat small meals, but they want about six meals a day, um, which our body's supposed to do that anyway. But from Western society, we're, we're um, taught to eat at specific times because we live in robotic times where um, we're all factory workers, where lunchtime is this o'clock, breakfast time is this o'clock, evening meal is this o'clock. Um, the Philippines, people generally just eat um, on a regular basis. And it's not all good food, you know, hot dogs and stuff. There's loads of these little stalls everywhere um, where they have a lot of bad stuff for you. Um, but P Filipinos, that that's just normal for them. They'll, they'll have a hot dog when they go to the mall, then get home to eat dinner. Um, and they might have ate before they left the house. It's just the way things are. But if they don't, um, there's another thing that's called tampo. Tampo is like um, it's like a child's um, tantrum. They have the bottom lip out and being a pain. Um, and food is one of the re reasons that some of these people do um, have a tampo which irritates, irritates me like mad, but at the same time, it's just the way people are, you know, the bottom lip comes out, they're just, you know, what's wrong, nothing, you know, it's that sort of thing, it's, it's just annoying. But you just have to be aware that Filipinos want to eat regular. Um, one of the ways around this is by getting the, the rice that's interwoven with, uh, I think, dried banana leaves. Um, with that, at least you can throw them in a in a box or a bag um, if you're going out somewhere. So you've got some food with you. But there's food everywhere in the Philippines. But you know it don't cost a lot, so it is worth just throwing it in a bag and keeping it with you to save all the arguments of what what's the problem. And the oh, I haven't had my food yet. It's aggravation, but it all revolves around rice mainly. Rice is the uh, the stable diet in the Philippines, but I would say it's also obsessive. Um, purely in the sense that people do not need um, to have food, rice in their diet, but they they actually do believe it does. That's it. You know, you've got to have rice. Don't have rice, we're gonna die. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.